Right, thank you for joining me. I wanted to uh, discuss something. Someone pointed out a very important point about a video that I made. I'm not even sure which video it was. But I made a statement that we, you know, we can, in a sense, every person could be the Kohen Gadol, every day could be Yom Kippur, every place could be the Kodesh Kodashim. And someone pointed out that that's wrong, it's not true. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember exactly what I said, sometimes it's just a stream of consciousness. That actually, it, it comes from a secular place, so it's, uh, I don't know if, if there was another teaching before that, a Hasidic teaching that was authentic, similar to that, but it's neither here nor there. Um, but the point that I need to bring out, that this person pointed out accurately, and I thank him for pointing it out, is that I do not mean in a halachic sense. I mean, wherever you find yourself, you shouldn't be dismayed. Like the, the, um, the, the, the Shloyme Karlina, I think it was, he said, I'll, 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 a person, meaning, which generally is understood to mean a person's heart shouldn't disagree with God because God is often called Hamokum by our sages but also that a person shouldn't feel separated based on where he is, meaning wherever you are, you could serve God. What is this? What's going on here? You. Um, and so I meant this in terms of chizuk and musar, and not in terms of halacha, because obviously halachically there is a difference between a coin and Levi Israel. Obviously, halakhically, there is a difference between Yerushalayim and other places in Eretz Israel, and between the base of Mikdash and other places in Yerushalayim, and so forth, between the Kodesh and the Kodesh Kodashim. Halakhically speaking, there are differences, and no one should mistake this in a halakhic way. And that's where some of the worst sins come from, because people think that somehow they can do something wrong and serve God in that way. That's the worst, the worst aberration and, and perversion of, of God's word. That's not what I mean at all. But in the sense of, you know, meaning when, when I, what I'm saying here is just in the sense of where your thoughts are, meaning if you are, you know, in a grocery store and you pick up an apple and you think about, about like what Rabbi Miller used to say about apples and about watermelons and all these things, uh, you can, and you're there by thinking about God doing something that seems so menial and insignificant, that can become a religious experience. That's what I mean to say by this. I don't mean it in a halachic sense. And that's one of the problems with Kabbalah in general. People take Kabbalistic imagery and interpret it in a, um, in a literal sense when it's, supposed to, when it's really meant to be poetic. I don't have much time. I don't know where my charger went. I had a charger here and it disappeared. So um, we're just going to have to end here. But so, so I'm just clarifying. I don't chas v'shalom mean that uh, certainly nothing sinful and even mundane things are not actually the Kodesh HaKadoshim, are not actually Yom Kippur, not actually the Kohen Gadol. But what I mean is that any time we do God's will, we're doing God's will. It's it's like the story with the Rebbe Zusha and the, the Rebbe Melech. The Rebbe Zusha was so upset that, you know, they were locked up in a jail and there was a, a chamber pot there and the Rebbe Zusha was upset and he was crying because he couldn't daven. And the Rebbe Melech said, yeah, but we're fulfilling the halacha of not davening because there's a chamber pot there. And then, and uh, you know, like the, like the, Levi Yitzhak Berdichev, he wrote the song, the Dudala, is a mile do mata do mizrach do marav do 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 do. You know that's that's what I meant. I don't mean it chas v'sholem in a literal sense. I mean it in a figurative and poetic sense uh, that we should be aware of the existence of God in everywhere and everything. And that I do mean literally, meaning the con the concept of the Hasidim teach of Simpson Lav Kapshuto. That I certainly do. Uh, you know, adopt, and that's what I mean. But even so, 
we we have to follow halacha, meaning that's the essence of 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 our faith is that we are bound by halacha. Like, and that's like what Rabbi Nachman Breslov always said that you can interpret his teachings any way as, as long as they don't go against Shulchan Aruch. And that's the way. That's something what, what, I, what I mean to say here. Um, I, I think I kind of covered my bases here. All right. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the best.